today? Hey, what hey, is happening today, hey, Corey? It's time to count you down to the weekend. And today we're starting out with 0% interest business loans and how you can qualify for different types of business support through LISC, the Local Initiative Support Corporation. They're nationwide in different 38 different locations around the country. So we're talking to Roslyn and Wolf today. Wait, it's wait, long. I just want to hear 0% interest loans. 0% interest loans. 0% zero percent and zero percent in hampton roads in hampton, hampton roads but there are all sorts of business related programs across the nation through the local initiative support corporation or list we have Rosalind wolf the pro one of the program managers here in virginia she's going to be talking about that in part of our one hour talk show so today is about how to get free money or is it about how to get free cheap? money it's some some of it's free because they have grants. So we're talking about low to no interest I know what loans. Talked about y'all. I got you. And like I said, in this one hour talk show, we're gonna introduce you to Roslyn Wolf all along the way while we enjoy chatting with you, our home team. We got our two great giveaways and our plant based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. So we can't start unless we say, "Let's go, let's go, let's start the show with our real talk with Entire Design intro." It's another episode of a blind guy. It's why. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Corey the Blind Guy. I'm his wife, Laquita Marie. Together we let you enter our life live, live every hump day. Bang! To Friday. That's Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, yeah. 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on this show, we introduce you to a fabulous guest throughout this one-hour talk show. And I have our fabulous topics. And today we're talking about a 0% interest business loans. Well, that's the available. highlight. That's, that's the, the highlight. highlight because today. Abby is in Jamaica. And uh -oh. so I don't know if Lisk is in Jamaica. So we got uh, Holistic Living with Abby Stalker Mom. Abby, da, 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 da. Talker mom. So let me tell you, there's something for you. You know, Abby is a, a business lady. She's always talking about stocks, investing, and things like that. Uh, so praying couple cooking series is praying for all of us. So they're in the house as well as G. Albert saying, "Hey, hey, G. Albert out there somewhere in the Midwest." <laughs> you know, G. Albert is telling us to check stuff. Thank you, G. Albert. We appreciate that. Uh, and we also have Bether uh, Kabaka hanging out, waiting eagerly. So I don't know if you're still here. They were popping in yesterday. All right. Do we bring our guest in already? Because she has some good stuff for today. Y'all know this is a talk show. We're going to be talking to Rosalind Wolf as well as you all in the chat, as well as in the replay. So put your comments in. Don't forget, put in hashtag the home team. That's part of the today's show. The first thing we do is a giveaway, but let's bring her in. We're going to say good morning to Rosalind as she greets everybody. Come on in, Rosalind. How are you doing? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Hi. How are you guys? Doing great. Doing great. Absolutely Rosalind, we are wonderful. glad that you are here representing the, Virginia, the Hampton Rose branch of the Local Initiative Support Corporation. We're going to shorten that today. They call it LISC. And we talk, got questions already. Where's my free grant money? Wally is asking. <laughs> we have a lot of good conversation with you today. But first of all, just a little so people understand what exactly is LISC? We know it started in the 19, late 1970s, 70, 1979, with the Ford Foundation trying to find ways to create. Uh, do community develop, development economic stimulus in certain communities. But what is it that LISC does? As because Philip Baldo Jr. is in Hampton Roads. He's greeting everyone. He's our favorite moderator. He is in Hampton Roads. So this information could help him. Hey there, Cassandra South Fulton Garden. There's probably a LISC in your area. So this may help you as well. So what is it, where is LISC located and what does LISC do for business owners? Yeah, so thank you all for having me. I appreciate um, you are allowing me to be on the show. This helps us um, get the word out there. Uh, so I'm appreciative of you taking the time to be interested and helping other people to get the information. Um, so LISC, um, like um, Corey has said, is a local initiative support corporation. And what they do and why they were established is to begin to invest and reinvest and continue to invest money into communities that have been distressed, where they have been disinvested in over the years, community as well as small businesses. So LIST does that in a few different ways. We do that, one, by investing in organizations that build in the community. So affordable housing, 
um, corridor development, which means you may have a block that you start to see stuff going up on buildings and different uh, infrastructure. Liz is an organization that supports that kind of work. We invest in small businesses, but the understanding that small businesses really employ a lot of employees and it tends to be the backbone, it has been the backbone of the community of being able to support itself and people being able to work in there and live in that same um, community. And then we also so, have what's called okay. a financial opportunity hold on. clinic. Hold on okay. a second before you get to that financial. Okay, uh, the clinic. Mary Mati told you she's Nigerian. The Nigerians are all about the money, but we got to give you your compliments. Your guest is so gorgeous and smart at the same time. I am here to learn. <laughs> Thank you. <Ooh. laughs> yes. So she's reminding everybody to like and share. Look, she, her, she is tuned in because there's probably, will you tell us, she's in California. I know LISC is everywhere and, and not everywhere, quite a few different places around the country in the U.S. So she's come from Nigeria. She's in the U.S. Tell us about this financial clinic and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll get to more because also Burundian traveler, traveler is listening in as well from Kenya, uh, traveling in that area, Burundi, Kenya, all of that kind of stuff. So everybody's ears are open. That's awesome. Oh, by the way, Mary is saying, yes, so, so anyways, <laughs> I love my Nigerians. I'm Nigerian today. Oh, and wait. Not, Wally is Trinidadian. So, and you got Abby Stockholm. Abby is Jamaican. Dang. Okay. Anyways, wow. Beautiful family and strong life today. So, go ahead. Tell us what you were going to uh, finish up with the financial. You were saying that they help to establish corridors. So, when you go to these, you go to different sections in, of your city, you see these revitalization projects where they're putting up new buildings, small businesses are popping up, new businesses are popping up. This is something that LISC may be involved in. So tell us about- Sandra living a full life. It's like, okay, greetings. She likes this info. Go ahead, tell us about so it. tell us about, you said the financial clinic? Yeah, so the other thing is how we, how we help individuals is uh, with wealth building through our financial opportunity clinic. There are about 123, I think, around the country. At this point, there may be several in like one city, you know, or one um, serving one area. Um, but these sites are based off of a model that came out of the Annie E. Casey Foundation study. And so they said if you connect benefit, like um, public benefits with education and job training and um, the wealth building, what's like the, the budgeting and the um, ability to understand money together you begin to see people start to come out of poverty more than just having those things uh, separately. Um, so that's the process, that's the, um, the theory behind the um, financial opportunity clinics, which we have one here at Hampton Roads, run by house at the um, Hampton Workforce uh, Council. And um, we have two sites, one in Newport News and one in, based out in Norfolk. And yes, LISC is a national organization. Um, they are not international, um, but they are what about, national. What about so Indiana? Because Indiana is one of Indiana. Indiana, Indiana Backyard Gardener is like, hello, host, hello, chat. So look, look for a LISC, L-I-S-C, in your area. The, Indiana. Website, the website for LISC is scrolling at the bottom of the screen, right? You, you know what? The, the website is scrolling, yes. Now it is. Yes, absolutely. And you know, LISC, L-I-C, L-I-S-C, LISC.org. If they just go to list.org, they'll find right. the different uh, yes. branches and chapters. And then like for you, you're the Hampton Roads branch. So that's why we have those links there. Now, LISC is, LISC is legit because LISC has Look, lots of- Indiana Backyard Gardener is happy. She's like, woohoo! <laughs> LISC is legit. LISC has been around for since 1979. And then they've got lots of great sponsored organizations, not mm -hmm. like corporations that are sponsoring, government agencies that they're linked to, different mm -hmm. foundations that are being that are linked to. So can you tell us some of the um, the uh, the agencies and corporations that uh, get that are putting- No, that... no, wait. I, I want to know about the free money. Because listen- well, I mean, we got to no, let them know that, that LISC is out there and real i know but i, I want to get to the free money but the best what the people want to know all right, all right is there is there such a thing as free i keep calling it free money because to me the hampton rose branch of list they offer zero percent interest loans for these developers and so that's in a sense it is free money because it's like getting money from your cousin your mama and then you just got to give them that amount back not like getting it back to getting it from the bank and you got to give them that plus some mm -hmm. to pay your car to pay your home right to pay your uh, investments. So that's why I'm calling it free money. But anyways, tell us a little it's bit. It's just free money. Yes, because see, Lash's journey, she's a millionaire. She's also Jamaican. Ooh, all the uh, Trinidadian island people. Anyways, 
She's a millionaire. She's in Florida, living her best life. She's around there garden and stuff, got the kids running around. But when the money talks, she comes in to listen. So is there a list in Florida? And can you tell us a little bit about, um, wait, can we hear about some free money or do we have to hear what you wanted to know, Corey? Because- I mean, see, we can combine it both because the free money, in, well- the, the, Philip is saying yeah, free money, free the, money. He the, wants to hear it. And the, so does Jennifer Recipes. Hey there. The ability to provide the, the uh, interest-free loans, all that funding comes from a lot of different corporations. So you kind of tie it together, Ross, and they'll help. Okay, let's talk about Alaska too. Is there one in Alaska? We know there's a list in- Great in question. In is there one in Florida? Because that's what Lash's journey is. And Florida then, sure. so go ahead, you tell us. I'm gonna okay. ask you a lot of questions. I hope you can remember, but we will remember the questions too. <laughs> yeah, so no, so list is national. I cannot tell you every city that they are in, but Florida is a huge um, market. So Florida, California, the coast, you're gonna have them throughout the Midwest and other areas. So I, I do encourage you to go to list.org to, and they'll give you a list of uh, where they are and um, how you can, you know, you can connect with those folks there. Well, Lisk David is, is funded, in Massachusetts. Yeah, Lisk, <laughs> Lisk is funded by several different, both government and um, corporation, corporate um, organizations. And so the purpose of that, so some monies, which is why you have free money, right? Because some monies come to us and it is free to us. And so we give it out in the form of grants or these loan programs that are zero interest, um, zero fee loans. And other money that we have for small businesses are regular because we also pay for that money um, in order to, be, to, to give it out to uh, other folks. We can take more risk because we do get money that don't have to be uh, paid back. So when we get those types of funds, we then give it out like we get it. Um, to, to small businesses, to um, organizations in the form of grants, and then of course these, these loans you all are talking about. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So this is good stuff because Tori's Brain Games is reminding everybody to lay hands on the like button. We're only supposed to be saying hello to you, but you have so much information. We're not trying, we, we're not, we don't want to let you go before we like get into some of the other things. We do want to remind everyone to click uh, to type in hashtag the home team because we have two giveaways today. Rosalind is part of those giveaways. Where's Tori? Corey, uh, uh, Texas. He's in Texas. So I'm sure there's a list there because it's such a big state. Because that's what yeah, I was trying sure. to think of. Now, you know, Irene Zab is in Kenya. I don't know if you all, she's in Nairobi specifically. I don't know if you all plan on being international, but <laughs> the Kenyans are doing their thing, okay? <laughs> They are money folks as well. They they monetize themselves in all the ways. So they're always looking. Look, David Hunt talking about, I can't believe I'm the first to say booyah. <laughs> you better be the first to find Lisk and, and get some money from Lisk for your organization. And tap in the hashtag the home team. Brown Coat Blue has already done it. Hashtag the home team. And for mm -hmm. anybody wondering what we're saying, L-I-S-C dot org. Gail local, at night. Local initiative support. Corporation. Absolutely. Yeah. Gail and I are fav one, favorite, one of our favorite moderators, but Philip is a favorite. But anyways, she's dropping all the links. They're already in the video description, so you all know where to find this information. So, Rosalind. Cassandra's, okay, good. Cassandra South uh, Fulton Garden has hashtag the home team. If y'all want to win today, you know what to do. Go to list.org, put in hashtag the home team like Philip Waldo Jr. because you can win several different ways today. So, Roz, we're going to put you backstage to, to enjoy some computer chips and some software salsa along with some virtual vino. Okay. And we're going to continue our morning announcements and then we'll bring you back for our first place pony drawing, okay? Okay, thank you. All, All right. right, we'll see you soon. Well, this broadcast is powered by Streaming Art and by member support by viewers like you. you. You can be down with the home, you can be down with the blind guys <laughs> like the life home team by remembering to bum rush the buttons. Like Wait a minute, subscribe. we gotta like, share, subscribe, and Philip wants us to go ahead and do the first giveaway. Now he says, "Can we spend now?" No, we cannot spend now, but we will spend very soon because we do want people like GT Junior grows at Alaska sure, yeah. <laughs> to get it in there. Uh oh, Uncle Stu has paid his way. Uncle Stu, you might win. You might win. All right, thank you so much, Uncle Stu, Uncle for the Stu super the, chat. The old man on the block. <laughs> We got a state of emergency. Go check out Uncle Stu's channel. He said, free money. Corey, here's my free money. Take it before the woman get it. Brown eyes not here, so I got the bank card. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag uh, the home team. Lord Abby, girl, 
She got the rig team because she never wins. What? <laughs> Not Abby. Abby has been uh, contaminated by David Hunt's evil words. <sighs> they corrupted her. You know what? Gail at Night is giving y'all where else to get. If you don't win with us, follow these uh, links that Gail at Night is dropping. You can win. I know, Irene. I need to visit Kenya. That'll help me win. Now remember, when you hit the like button and you share it, that is getting to make sure that you guys are part of our self-improvement resource library, mm -hmm. meaning that people can find information like this about how to get 0% interest business loans and other grants through LISC, the Local Initiative Support Co uh, Corporation. They can find this information easily, for people, especially they, the people that need it the most. Y'all know they got all kinds of webinars and everything. Visit these websites, Horizon Small Business Digital Ready, Virginia Grant Relief Program, follow LISC on Twitter, and then you can just scroll on their site and look at all all of that stuff we'll get into it later now, our annual report our work donate now and don't forget you can also be down with our home team by remembering to go to blindguyhiswife.com scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen blindguyhiswife.com but don't forget we do have sponsors so you'll see here lots of our sponsors listed along with blindguyhiswife.com Hey, it's almost back to school time. If you want an easy way to talk about how you can stand up and stand out against the big bad bullies that your kids might be facing or your grandkids, your nieces and nephews, get your download of Oh Yeah, the Three Little Pigs remix, in addition to other audio stories than our port portable library. So I'll definitely pull that up while you talk about it, Corey. It's right there on blindguyhiswife.com. You can check out right there on the website. So the Three Little Pigs remix like you were saying we also have safari our christ-centered audio story these are all audio stories you can download them listen to them on different devices in the car if you need an emotional lift to be entertained or as a party starter oh, three blind to... mites against all odds or savannah wins if you want to get your kids into listening get improve their listening skills and that's a definite way to get them to tune out of the screen and into their ears to listen to some great audio stories and great music and great songs but you can also get some money Here's some free money for you from um, Blind Guy's Wife. Hey, Mike. speaking of free money, JBWR is here. Thank you, JBWR, one of my great sponsors. Let me tell y'all why I say free money. He has a great channel, but he's the one helping us all like do this. He's a fiber optics, optics person. He's the one that's helping your internet to stay up, our internet to stay up, so that we all can make money in this digital world. He's a great supporter, yes, but a great guy with a beautiful channel. So head on over there if you have not. To check out call JB. Him Professor JBWR. Oh my goodness. When you're calculating, it's high level learning. When you're calculating the trigonomic <laughs> measure, me measures of the swag in the cable line, you have to subtract some distance so that what might be 120,000 feet is actually 132,000 feet by my calculations. I said, go ahead, Professor JBWR. Yeah, <laughs> JBWR. Um, I think he's single, y'all. He's handsome. I'm just making up stuff. That ain't true. I don't know if it is or not. But uh, I, Oh, so she, she said you should make stuff up. She said you single and handsome, so you he's no, not no, 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 he's, he's handsome, but uh, I don't know about the single. But part. how you why you talking why you talking about he handsome? Then? Look, y'all become a three little pigs affiliate. <laughs> Let's talk about that because everybody likes Sandra for living a full life. They're since all putting in hashtag the home team. There, Gail is snatched, thick, and what else you say? Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Now, y'all know Gail is a moderator, but head over to her channel and, and, and check her out. Well, you know what? She don't stand up. Head over to her channel, watch her videos, go to her Instagram if you want inspiration. She is snatched. Now, Gail, and it's natural. Gail ain't not know, know nothing. No she had grits, and because she's from down south, so she had grits and all of that kind of stuff. But listen, today's yeah. about free money. Philip says, is there free money for a voiceover artist with six sisters and two brothers? Y'all know that's my brother, right? <laughs> hey, Duval, how you doing? Duval. <laughs> Yeah, you can get free money from us by becoming an Oink I mean, a, a digital download audio story affiliate. Just get 30, you can get 33% for every download that is sold. JPWR is laughing at you, Corey. Oh, I'm going to pull it up, Corey, because the affiliate opportunity that you're talking about, mm -hmm. when they head over to blindguyhiswife.com, they do have to click on the opportunities tab. So that means when they click on opportunities, they can either download the story or they can become an affiliate so that they can receive 33% of whatever sales uh, that happen. So yeah, it's a money maker. And this way, if LISC, while they're waiting on their LISC money, you know, from our guest today, mm -hmm. Yes, they can definitely uh, get a hook up there. And while you're at blindguyswife.com, don't forget to click the green coffee cup so she can say, Lord, Gina versus Gina. Let me tell you, he gonna, I, I'm going to say, what you doing? And I can say, girl, you know what I'm doing. I'm calculating this swag like JBWR and I'm stirring it like a cable line coffee. Click, 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 click. You know what? 
Gail Knight is laughing at us talking about she snatched uh <laughs> Gina versus Gina. Gina, pay attention, Gina. I am listening, Gina. You get that zero percent interest, Gina. What list Gina? Listen, listen, Gina. <laughs> Philip Waldo Jr. is greeting Gina. Speaking of Gina, so Gina versus Gina, I do enjoy her channel as well. You all, when you head over, this is what we told everyone. We told you this too, Gina, so I hope you started your Buy Me A Coffee page. If you're looking for another way to get free money, all you have to do is head on over to blindguyhiswife.com, uh, click on the green, you know, okay, well, instead of clicking on the green coffee cup, you can buy us coffees. We do appreciate the support. This is how we run this production and support our nonprofit organization, Now to Pond Edutainment. So you definitely can. We appreciate the coffee. We love the support. Buy us one coffee, three coffee, five coffees, but Corey has not been able to see for over 25 years. So we always give the example. You can type in the amount of coffees that you'd like to do that you'd like to offer. Leave your name, say something nice, see how you're supporting the production, see others that have supported as well. Thank you, JBWR, Danique Anthony, uh, Antoine Wade of Black Heights Advancing His Career, Healthy G Mom. But here, right here, when you click for opportunities, it takes you to the Buy Me A Coffee page. You can start your own Buy Me A Coffee page and you'll get a free coffee when you start your own coffee. The platform gives us free coffees when you start your page from someone else's. So definitely do that. You know what? They in here talking about no okra and everything. We gotta bring Rosalind back in. Yeah, we're gonna give them a sneak peek at the plant-based treat. Oh, speaking of okra, yeah, let's give a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat. Oh, Duval, okay, good. You finally got your uh, buy me a coffee right. I'll go over, head over to your page. I'm gonna buy you a coffee. All right, so a sneak peek at today's plant-based treat. Y'all know we encourage you to eat fruits and vegetables at every meal. We're not vigilantes. We are not fruit hoodlums. We're not plate popo, mealtime marina, suppertime security guards. We just want you to get more fruits and vegetables in at every meal. And whole foods. So this one, a lot of you eat. We're just showing you how to eat this one uh, non-dairy. That's all. You probably going to remember this because PWJ was in the movie Life. He asked Martin, uh, Eddie Murphy, was he going to eat this? <laughs> <laughs> Flour, yellow cornmeal, flaxseed. All right, that's it. That's it. Cornbread muffins. That's all I will show. I say we get Rosalind back in here. It's time for the first place pony drawing, so make sure you hashtag the home team, hashtag the home team. And we're going to bring Rosalind Wolf back in here. We are not plate advisors, Wally. Let's bring her back in here. All right. So, Rosalind, welcome back. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. So, Rosalind, everybody's here. They want to hear more about how this program works. I know they really want to hear about the no interest loans. Yeah, the no ahead, interest Corey. loans and other opportunities that are there that may exist across the uh, list um, platforms. Scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen, you all. Plus, Gail at Night is dropping all of the links for LISC, L I S C. There may be one in your area. It's a national organization in various states Indiana, Florida, Texas, all over. So, Rosalind, but, but Rosalind's with Hampton Roads, right? So in us, Virginia. If you people are in Hampton Roads, how can they? How can they? How is this zero percent interest loan? How may it apply to them, and how may they? How can they apply for it? Yeah. So let me say this: that because LISC is national, there are different chapters will have different offerings. So um, some of them will have no interest loans, depending on what monies are available. Some of them will have grants, etc. Depends on what comes in. Um, so if you are in a, if, you know, a different area besides Hampton Road, please check out the area, um, the list that's closest to you. because They might have programs going on now that you can, that you qualify for. For us here at List Hampton Roads, um, we have one, if you are in Virginia Beach based business, we have a BB Thrive uh, grant program between ten dollars and $50,000 um, grant, depending on what uh, business you're in. And then you have to show a law. This, this one is for, uh, COVID relief specifically. So you have to show a loss of 15% in revenue between 2019 and 2020 um, in order to qualify for the funds. And then we are allowing you to claim expenses um, from March 2022, uh, 21 to June 30th, 2022. So although you, so it's two separate things, right? Your taxes have to show you lost revenue of at least 15% from 19 to 20, but you can submit expenses up to June 30th um, for when it's in this program to show the need that you have uh, for the for the grant. So if you're interested, if you're in Virginia based Virginia Beach, excuse me, 
it is Virginia Beach specific. Please go to our website and check out the uh, VB Thrive information there. And so then wait, I have a question. Is this the right information on the screen? I have pulled up here the Virginia, the VB Thrive webinar register today. So if they register for the webinar, uh, which is taking place you all on Thursday, August 4th at 10 a.m., is this where they'll find out about their eligibility? Because it's not due yep. August 4th. Is this the right one? Yeah, so this is the webinar we'll have just to have a person, you know, explain with me, we'll be explaining about the VB Thrive um, uh, grant program. But on our website, you have all the information that you need and where to apply. So there's a, a apply button there on the website as well. Um, right. on the VB Thrive. Uh, on that same page that you were on, if you scroll up, you'll have all the information you need there. Tomorrow, we're just going to go over it verbally so that um, folks have it and any issues, you know, we can, we can, uh, we'll have a question and answer session. You should feel free to, um, to ask us. Um, um, so that's yeah. VB Thrive. Right, because you know, Philip was asking like, hey, wait, is there one for Norfolk? Because I know you said when we scroll up on the page, you know, it says here, uh, you oh, know, so you, you once go you go up, home, I'm just showing yep. them how to get here on from the home page. You scroll mm -hmm. over to BB Thrive Business yeah. Relief Grant webinar. Just on click on that up top. And this is how they register. When they clicked, when I clicked on webinar August 4th, it took me here. They click register here. That's how they'll get to the Q and A session for Thursday, right? Tomorrow. Right. Yes, but if you go back to that um, link, just click on that link at the top. Just keep scrolling up. So all this is information. You ah, scroll up, you have you all the criteria. I see. Yep. It gives you all the details of what you just said. We don't have to remember all of that information. We can click these links that that uh, Gail at night is dropping in the chat because my Renaissance grandma is listening in. Corey, Indiana mm -hmm. back, backyard gardener is back. These are the things for Virginia Beach. So that means when we go to list.org in Indiana or where my Renaissance grandma or Gail at night or David Hunt is located, they might find different products, yeah. different relief grants, different low no interest loans and things like that in their area. So how does that work? Yeah, you know. Okay. So Raza, with the 0% interest loan, let's say, let's say this is yep. available in other uh, states, other cities. Because you know Miriam is already on and Miriam is in California. Mary might have told you, she might, yay, you know she's looking. So everybody, everybody that's out there, they might be saying, okay, well, how, even if I, if I have this available to me in my area, from just using Virginia, the Virginia uh, Hampton Roads alone, 0% interest loan as a model, how does that work? How do they, what do they have to do to qualify for that? And what do they, how do they, how do they apply? How do they qualify? And what is it, what are the terms of that, something in a loan like that? Yeah, so I cannot speak for other programs, other right. chapters. Um, each of those programs would have different qualifications and eligibility requirements that you have mm -hmm. to meet. Um, so I, you do go to their website. If it's in your area, go to their website and check it out. Um, if you need to reach out to folks, everyone I've met since I've been here have been great. So you can definitely ask some questions about it. Here we have the Hampton Roads DHCD um, loan pro, small business loan program that's starting in September. That is the zero percent interest, um, zero uh, dollar loan or fee um, that's coming up. That is a program that you can get between ten and fifty grand for your business. It's not around COVID relief. It's just for expansion or if you'd like to you need equipment or you know whatever you need to start to build you know on what you already have that loan is is geared towards you now and what you say, did say between 15 one five 15 thousand and five zero 50 10. 10 between 10 and 50 yes 000. Okay, perfect. Because look at Philip. What time is the Q and A? Because I got to request time off if it's between eleven and twelve thirty. <laughs> it starts at ten. The webinar tomorrow at ten Eastern time. Ten a.m. Eastern time. See, this is the thing. Uh, every look at Philip tomorrow. I need equipment. Let me let me apply. So here's the thing. We're going to get into the details later, but right now I know we're talking about the low interest, no interest loans for Hampton Roads and we're buying everybody time for this first giveaway. We're about to do the first giveaway. So make sure if you don't have hashtag the home team, make sure you put that in there now. Y'all know y'all say I'm rigging it up. I'm not rigging it up. It's not me. Here's one question I do have before we get into that. Now, Gail at night, 
she's dropping all the links. Gina versus Gina, both Gina's are paying attention. So this is the reason why I'm asking this question because we got everybody paying attention, double time. Uh, with this COVID relief fund, I know you said that list of Hampton Roads has certain products, but I noticed that there's this uh, COVID relief, uh, COVID-19 response, list COVID-19 response, our call to action. Is this nationwide or is this um, just for Hampton Roads? Because I noticed this link was on the Hampton Roads website. Is this something that other chapters um, have access to? Yes, yeah, so this will be a nationwide uh, thing. Again, you have to go to that uh, site, to this uh, link that you're on and figure mm -hmm. out how it applies to you in your area. Um, because this is a national mid of chapters, things are you know, maybe done a little bit differently depending on, on where you are. But yes, this will be something that, that's national. Okay, because okay, you see, uh, G. Albert is on it. He says, nice to see that you have a district office in Hawaii. Hmm. Okay, I didn't even so, know that one, so that's good. So he's, look, people are going to that that website. Now, G. Albert said something earlier about okra. Uh, we got this argument that always happens on this show. Do you like okra? Let me ask you that. No, I'm not going to give you any bias. That's the question. I Me, I love okra, I, but I, I love fried okra. I know that this, that's, I love fried okra. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Because earlier G. Albert was like, did y'all tell her this is a no okra zone? Because mm -hmm. me and Corey love okra too. So this, <laughs> we're in a good space. <laughs> oh yeah, so tell us more like- Wait, know, no, we got to do the giveaway. We're gonna, she was going to at least explain the zero, the terms of how, how it works in Virginia. Oh yeah, yeah. I did want to hear about the money because yeah, Indiana Backyard Gardener is like, there's a great library of resources. Let me tell you, they are hitting up the website. This is good information. And that's the point of list because you said this was founded in 1979 this... with the Ford Foundation needing somebody to be an intermediary between the corporations and government agencies that to dole out the dollars, for lack of better words, to <laughs> those communities yeah. that need the most. Now, what we, I know a lot of people want how in the world is does a 0% interest loan actually work? Oh yeah, okay, like, we're gonna stop talking about okra for the win. We're gonna go back to the interest, no interest loans. Tell us how that works and then we'll do the first place pony giveaway. Yeah, so again, because LIST does get money from different sources, when we get it and it doesn't um, necessarily cost us you know, anything um, to have the funds, we give them out. The, uh, so this loan program is one of those things. So because LIST can take on more risk, we're able to do you know riskier things and make, um, make loans to, to folks that maybe banks can't touch because of their shareholders or, or whatever the case um, may mm -hmm. be. So the basic qualifications, and it's a case by case basis. So now, now I'll say this, if you're only making, you know, bringing in 10 grand a, a year in your business, then you're probably not going to qualify for going to $50,000, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to still have revenue to support you making the payment um, on this loan. So it's not just completely, you know, a free for all. So I don't, right. want, I don't want to make it seem like that. Your uh, revenue in your business needs to be such that you can afford a loan of 50,000, 40,000, whatever, you know, amount that, that it is. Um, yeah, because we get excited about this whole money. But, yeah, but then we, we know that there have to be qualifications. When we go apply for a car loan, we know we just don't walk in the door. They check something and you right. have to have qualifications. So continue. And so we don't do, Chris, our thresholds are lower and we don't look at like a credit necessarily. We do a background check to make sure you don't have, like you are, you will pay your bills. But that credit score, we don't hold against you because our goal is to give money to folks who may not be able to go to traditional banks um, and get them. Um, and so we are looking at, you know, your revenue of your business. You need to have been in business for two years. So this program is not one for startups or folks that are trying to start a business. You have to have a two year um, history. Um, you need to um, be based in Hampton Roads, right? So if you are outside of the area, unfortunately, we, we don't, we are focused on the Hampton, that's the seven cities uh, of, of Hampton Roads. Yeah, Southeast um, Virginia. And, you know, that's why we had the list for Hampton Roads. They're LinkedIn listed for this episode. But remember, y'all. There are opportunities in other list areas. So check out the list yes. that's to you in your city. They mm -hmm. have similar or the same type of programs. With, but the, yep. everything, every, every, every chapter is going to be different. So go to the list.org and definitely check it out and see what might be available to you. So 
So yeah, and we do have good. a chapter on Richmond. So and Richmond covers covers. Yeah, we have. They're actually older. They they've been here since the I mean, early nineties. Wow. Um, so yeah, so we're so new. We're, we're two years old. We're we're yeah about two years old now. Almost three years old. The Hampton Roads um, been here only two years. years. Okay, so if the Hampton Roads branch is only two years, there's been one in Richmond, Virginia, even longer. What you're saying is, right, so in different states, they, you're still growing. That There's a possibility that yes. if you're in Florida and Hawaii. Now, we're going to, this is so good because we're going to do this giveaway because, of course, with the way the giveaway works is that, now, Uncle Stu, we appreciate your super chat. I rigged it for you, Uncle Stu. I rigged it. But this is not a rigged giveaway. We just give it to the first place pony means... If you were first in the chat, like uh, Beth Eric Kabaka, uh, Kabaka, then you were first. But uh, if you are <laughs> just the person that was here in the chat and you want to, you know, get first place bragging rights, that's the point of our first place pony giveaway. So, you know, David Hunt, he's uh, he put in his hashtag, the home team. David Hunt is a singer, by the way. He plays piano. He goes live three times a week. And he's a tech guy. He was he's also a no Oprah person. So he was hoping for hashtag the no Oprah zone. Forget them. We're gonna we're gonna give away uh something good here. Bragging rights, and we'll also drop your channel link if you win. GT Jr. saying make a song about no Oprah. He already has GT Jr. He got a whole song. It's a blues song. <laughs> okay, Rosalind, your list website at the bottom of the page, it says that Lisk is proud to be associated with five different organizations. That's G Albert asking. I would have to look at them. I'm so sorry. I, I don't. Everybody's know bringing them. in the facts. They're bringing in the value. Indiana Backyard Gardener says program that reaches more than 2,200 counties in 45 states. So that means if they're not in your specific city, it might also reach the surrounding counties and whatnot. Yeah. Look at look at Cor uh, Philip. What if I've been supporting Corey's Platinum Flash Dance Leggings for the last two years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see what we can do with you. We'll see. We'll see. So this is where it's going to work, Rosalyn. I'm going to make the announce the horse race announcement. When I say bring. Let me that gate bell sound bling. You're going to say, and they're off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, listen, Enania is in here. So, Enania, hey, girl, hey, put in hashtag the home team. You just might win this first giveaway. Anyways, uh, Corey, you say the word. She'll say, and they're off. And we will see the unrigged, randomized, you know, selection. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another run of the Blind Guys Who Write Their Life Live. First place, Pony Derby. All the jockeys are mounted behind the gates and in position. Roslyn, what are the thousands, <laughs> millions of parents around the country going to say in a very short amount of time when their school bus comes to the first day of school? <laughs> Bling! And they're off! All mm -hmm. right, let's see who we got back, y'all. Garner G, Albert, Brown, Coat, Blue, Tories, the Game Tank, JBWR, Uncle Stu, Uncle Stu, Uncle Stu, G, Albert, GT, Junior Girls, Philip Stu, uh, Gail, My Renaissance Grandma, Brown Coat, Blue! Hey, <laughs> Brown Coat, Blue! <yeah. laughs> Congratulations on the winning the first place pony. Uh, Gail at night, if you could please drop ain't, his link in the chat. Ain't too, ain't too much, ain't not too much winning happens in Cleveland, but Brown you know Coat, Blue represented. Oh! <laughs> Not too much winning happens in Cleveland, but Brown Coat Blue is a winner today. Well, everybody's <laughs> congratulating Brown Coat Blue, like Tory's Brain Games, Indiana Backyard Gardener. And look, he's saying, hooray, that's what I'm talking about. But you know, uh, David Hunt is a vocalist, so he's singing this Janet Jackson song, We Are A Part of the <laughs> Anyways, uh, can you join GT Jr., Cassandra South Fulton Garden, uh, JBWR and Duval City Girl Gardener. Look at Philip talking about Abby didn't win. I know we tried to rig it up, and you're not getting your money back, Uncle Stu. I know you paid your way, but you know, we appreciate the support. Can you please join everybody that has so far congratulated Brown Coat Blue? And can you congratulate him on winning first place pony, please? Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, well, Roz, we're gonna put you backstage into the virtual green room again. We can continue to enjoy virtual victuals. We'll bring you back after our coffee break. All right, so Rosalind, go wet your whistle, get a sip of water. We're gonna take a quick coffee break, and then we'll see you soon. Thank you. All right, man, Corey, we got winners in here, and the coffee break really celebrates our winners. 
Today's coffee break is all about our coffee break is all about how we want to thank the sponsors that help to power this broadcast, right along with StreamYard and the viewer support of members like you. Again, this coffee break is designed to say thank you to our sponsors. So, without further ado, this this broadcast is brought to you in part by promotional considerations paid for by the following unmuted sponsor. Absolutely, thank you to our sponsors. We appreciate you. Thank you. Well, let me turn y'all up. Supreme Sponsors, David and Christine Brooks. Supreme Sponsor, Dr. Linda Bailey Hayden of Elizabeth City State University. Supreme Sponsor, JBWR. Check out his YouTube channel. Supreme Sponsor, Black Heights, advancing your career. Check out his YouTube channel. You or your company can become a sponsor. Visit blindgathiswife.com. Thank you. All Thank right. you to all of the sponsors. And you know what, Uncle Stu? I know you paid your way. The rig didn't work out. He says, my money's not free. This is rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Wally. Skip, she skipped my post knowing I said rig phony. I know, Wally. I can't look. When we, You know we got to fight every day, Wally. All my life I had to fight. You make sure I do it. Thank you uh, for, for fighting every day. And... But mentioning that I skipped your uh, comment on purpose. Yes, I did. And I'll do it again. But back to Miriam. She says, yay. I say yay for our guest. Wait, Philip, you're my brother. How you going to laugh with Wally? Wow. Anyways, Corey, I say you bring in our guest. Bring her back. Bring her back. Because the folks want to know more about this money. They're excited about how Lisk is all over the country. So, And people have congratulated Brown Coat Blue. I say we get into it. Look at GT Journey. He's got to go. He says he's going to catch y'all later in these YouTube streets. And he laughing at Uncle Stu. Why are you being always sticking together? All right, guys. Thank you for joining us on this episode of The Blind Guy. His wife. We're like live with you every Wednesday. Thursday. Friday at? 11.15 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard, Standard Time. <laughs> well, we'll introduce you to fabulous I will tell you what Wallace said. help you going. change your narrative of normal when it comes to your health. Your business. And your wealth. Today's fabulous guest is no exception to the fabulous guest boom. Today's fabulous guest is a powerhouse of a person when it comes to helping people to fund their businesses. She is not a lone wolf. She's not a Virginia wolf. She's not the big bad wolf. She's not a werewolf, but she is. A money hound. It's time for today's featured guest. She's got more bucks than Scrooge McDuck's has in his money bin. She's got more bucks than Daddy Warbucks and all of his friends. It's time for today's special guest, Rosalind. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> That was good. Corey, you got bars. <laughs> <laughs> Look, thank you. And you know what? They called me out. Gail at night says, oh, Quita woke up and chose violence. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm just, the only thing I'm fighting for today, though, is the money. Of course, if y'all want to make money, we got a YouTube masterclass for you. Gail has dropped the link. However, Wally heard, I hear lone wolf. Philip is saying, welcome to the show, Rosalind. And Indiana mm -hmm. Backyard Gardener is just laughing at the whole thing. So what we want to know right now is back to the money. This is what we're fighting for, community development capital. So community, community development capital, this, we talked about the 0% interest loans, but the loans aren't just for, in, aren't for businesses, but also for trying to do community development as far as revitalization to encourage businesses mm -hmm. to come into the community and to establish themselves. Mm -hmm. So the community development capital, what what type of community development capital does uh, does LISC provide to uh, the to the to its clients? I would guess you call them. Yeah. So in addition to the uh, program like the VB Thrive Grant and the DHCD uh, small business loan that we have, we have other monies that businesses um, can apply to that are, are more like regular loans. They have an interest rate, um, and they have they may have some fees attached to them, but the threshold again, it's still a lot lower. So one of the things with the community development is that we have, if, if a developer wants to do affordable housing or 
of, again, a corridor development to revitalize an area, they can come to LISP to get um, help with that, uh, with, with those funds. So um, I'm from Wisconsin. And so one of the things that LISP was involved heavily in was one affordable housing, but also the development of what we call the Beer Line Trail. And so this was like a, a, a almost a mile uh, linear park that was um, that the purpose is to, to bring other investments to the community. And so mm -hmm. LISP does that around the country um, for via organizations and or developers. Um, so, and, and we try to help our target our developers of color, um, especially black developers. So are we trying to find ways to like help those folks to get a leg up so that they're also building in the community and it's not just coming from uh, the, the outside. So, and those funds, you know, our, our small business loan, our regular small business loans, we like to start, we like to start about a hundred thousand dollars, you know, plus but mm. the other loan for the developers, they go into the millions. I mean, they're mm. this, like there's this money. I don't have any word, but money, and it's not my money. <laughs> However, this is does have the funds to contribute to help to revitalize the neighborhoods. Now, I was telling you all yesterday, you won't see us in Bel Air. You won't see us in some of these high end neighborhoods mm -hmm. because the need isn't there. So you'll see us in the communities that need actually have a need for the investment, whether that be affordable housing, quarter development, or small business help. Um, other thing we do well is partner because it is a national organization and people do know the name and it is associated with money. We do have a lot of partnerships and a lot of money that we can also leverage um, to bring other resources to the community in the form of um, TA, technical assistance, um, monies, but also like a strategy, right, around housing or around development. Um, mm -hmm. So I guess this is one of the videos. So we, we have lots so of different so which second? Hold on just a second, because speaking of videos, this is on the LISC website when I went to, you know, about LISC. There's a side menu, how LISC works, leadership, local offices, financial statements. So working for LISC, there's so many different things. And then you're talking about community development capital and everything. And this particular video kind of shows, okay, how your organization can change the community. So this is showing how your organization is also changing individuals because we're looking at a family moving into a home that was built by a developer who got one of those hundreds of thousands or million dollar grants in order to build in a community. Am I saying this right so far or am I uh, yeah. just- Affordable okay. housing is definitely one of the investments that LIST will make into an organization in order to um, help it to build thrive. Right. You know, Wally cool. says, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting for the rights and freedom of speech with the rigidness of Laquita system. <laughs> that, 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 that power. Wally, you in Florida, they got LIST. So we're going to fight together. So look, you fight in Florida. If you get some money first, I'm going to call you for a loan. Give me five dollars. And speaking of systems, <laughs> like I said, so people here, you know, first they say, okay, well, you know, I, my business has got to be like growing or, just, you know, trying to grow to capitalize this. But what it sounds like with this community development, you could actually be like a, a, a pretty established real estate firm or or, a, a, or mm -hmm. a construction company. So you could be a small place or a large place, any right. size. But, you, but as long as you're doing something to do community development, you may, you may be able to qualify for this list community development capital we're talking about. Am I correct? Yes. Now, again, I, I want to say that list has targeted areas, right? So again, if you are a developer established or not, but you're trying to build in a place that doesn't have a leader, it's not going to help our targeted populations. You're probably mm -hmm. not going to be successful with this. Um, so you have to be building in places that we see have been disinvested um, and have been and have a, and have a, again an actual need, right? So we're not going to be in Bel Air. You're not going to build a, you know something in a place where where folks are doing well or, or, or don't need the help, right? They already have their own mm -hmm. capital. Um, so yes, established or beginning, we want to work with you to build up the places that we, you know, that are typically underfunded under of, yeah, of being divested in, disinvested in. Right. Disinvested, underrepresented, under 
funded, all of those keywords that we hear a lot of, yeah. uh, that's what Lisk is doing. You know, this this makes sense because say, let's say, for example, I told you that me and Wally, we fight all the time in the chat, right? And he's like, how are we fighting together when the system I'm fighting is you? <laughs> so here's what Wally does. He does wealth talk production where he talks about four different types of wealth, financial, social, time, and health. So mm -hmm. this is the reason why me and Wally fight. It's a good fight. And we're all, and I'm, I'm gonna still get that five dollar loan from you, Wally. So here's the thing: you're saying yes, individuals, small businesses. We see on the video how that works, but also you you alluded to the low threshold lending as well, so that somebody like Wally, somebody like David Hunt, somebody like a blind guy, his wife. If we have an initiative, if we have an organization, you're saying this is also possible for us to receive funding. And before we go into let's get the final hashtag in. Ooh. We're going to hashtag Lisk. Lisk. L-I-S-C. Y'all know it's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Because listen, remember, Gail at Night is dropping the links. It's already in the video description. And there's a Lisk probably in your area or that's serving your county, which means you may have different products that they're offering but you probably can benefit. So hashtag L-I-S-C. What's the giveaway for today? We're going to talk about that as we, while we, after we finish letting Rosalind do the oh. low threshold lending. Okay. So Rosalind, low threshold lending. You, you mentioned that before. There's not necessarily credit score or credit history, but what is it? What are, what does that mean? Low threshold lending? From this, from yeah, this so what it means is that we aren't looking for you to have a lot of capital. I'm already invested. We aren't looking for you to have a really high um, credit score. Um, in my time here, and just, just since the end of April, um, I've seen scores as low as like we're going into the into the, into the high 500s, right? Uh, for a credit score for lending, because we take other things into consideration, um, like the background check that we do, like the um, the potential like of your business, like how established you are. Um, and so we're able, because we do get funds from the places, uh, we are able to then have a take on more risk than maybe a traditional bank would. So that's what I mean with the low threshold um, lending, the qualifications, the, the eligibility comes a lot down a lot further than a traditional bank would. Okay, so you said you don't have to have a lot of you don't have to have a lot of startup capital already saved. You don't have to have a the highest credit score. You just have to have some just be, be able to at least be profitable enough with your business to pay back the loan. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And if not, loan, and then we're then... very flexible, you know. So I think the other thing too is that we don't want to put you in a bind. We want to work actually work with you, and so we want to be flexible. The DHCB, the Hampton Roads DHCB. Um, monies, you know, our the term for everyone is three and a half years, and you'll have a balloon payment at the end. The thing about the balloon payment is that we want to work with you. We want you to talk to us, and so we want to figure out how do we extend that. How can we help you to be successful? So this right. isn't a, um, a a threat or like a you know the uh, a, 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 a entity to be scared of, right? Or to like we want to be partners. We want to work with you. So we want to also work with you in building your business and making sure that you have what you need to be successful. So this is good because what you're saying is we want to work with you. When I clicked on that side menu, local offices, it says we are on the ground. Atlanta established 2018, Bay Area established 1981. This is where they were getting all that information on the list.org website. Boston established 1981. Uh, look at this. Charlotte was just established 2019. And just like you said, Chicago, Greater Cincinnati, Cleveland, the Hampton Roads branch was just started two or three years ago. So for everybody putting in hashtag list, also visit LISC.org for, you know, organization, because this is where you might find the start to your uh, next free set of money. Look, if you didn't start your Buy Me a Coffee page already to get your free $5 seed money, just go to list. They got y'all covered, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so how does this, uh, and, and they work with everybody. We just heard the requirements, low threshold lending. It's not a. It's not just a big credit game and you have to be at the top there. You just have to be organized in business for two years, 
or more, uh, you do have to have uh, revenue, cash flow, showing that you're credible in different ways. And then of course, with this low threshold lending, there is an application process, but you all even provide webinars and whatnot. So for each LISC, uh, their website for their local office, we can get the Q and A's, uh, get all the details. We can visit that Q and A, and that's where you learn what's needed, what paperwork you need, and all of those things. So go ahead. So Corey. today, the way this is going to work, we're going to help Rosalind make a decision. Oh, she says she likes fried okra. So for her decision today, whoever wins the drawing gets to decide whether she gets to try okra raw, or does she get to try it steamed, or does she get to put it in some gumbo. Raw steamed or gumbo, those are the choice you get to make for Rosalind today. Okay, raw <laughs> okay. steamed or gumbo. All right, so the way we're gonna do this, I'm gonna say three, two, one, and then Rosalind, what you're gonna say is, I'm an L-O-A-N wolf. L-O-A-N, oh, that's the type of wolf, not a lone wolf, like a lonely, but, oh, okay. <laughs> that was so clever. <laughs> All right. Okay, so wait a minute. This is good because Duval City Girl Gardener has a hashtag list. So does our one of our favorite uh, channels, JBWR. And I told you, he's keeping our fiber optics straight. He's the reason why our cable works. Mm -hmm. He has had, I'm saying that so he can win. Hashtag mm -hmm. list. Uh, but we don't know. It's not rigged. Um, now, Indiana Backyard Gardener, she has pickled okra. So, you know, she, I mean, she loves pickled okra. So I do too. I love any okra though. Gail, how do I like my okra, okra Gail? You know what, Gail at night, just keep dropping uh, the links. Don't even answer that question. But Philip says, because Philip does not like okra, his grandma's from South Carolina and she used to fix us okra. And he's going to have the nerve to say, Rise is going to need counseling after this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all set because David Hunt is right in there with Philip Waldo Jr. He has hashtag list. And look, David Hunt says, You like it raw. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, you like your okra raw. All right, Rosalind, if you're ready for the giveaway, we are ready because y'all know this is a one hour talk show and we are at the top of the hour. That means we got to finish up the show at some point. They won't let us go. Anymore. All right. So remember, when I, after I count you in three, two, one, you're going to say, I'm an L-O-A-N wolf. Here we go. Three, two, and the one. I'm an L-O-A-N wolf. All mm -hmm. right, let's see. We got David Hunt, Philip Walter Jr., J J Indiana Back, JBWR, Indiana Back Garden, Duval, Indiana, Philip Walter Jr., Indiana, Philip Walter Jr., Indiana, Duval, Indiana Backyard hey. Gardener. <laughs> Indiana Backyard Gardener. Oh boy. So Indiana Backyard Gardener type into the chat. Should Rosalind uh, choose her for her decision? Her next time she tries okra, should it be like I like it, which is raw? According to Gail at night, raw. <laughs> she got all the A's and the W's. Should she try it in gumbo or should she try it just stew? Mm, or just do so wait gumbo, okay. Now Duval says I have to have my okra cooked. Yeah. But we're going to see what Indiana Backyard Garden because she's celebrating now saying, woohoo. And oh, Sanal is in uh, Memphis. Tennessee. Yes. And she says, if we move craft organization to Hampton Roads, can we work with, they have a nonprofit organization as well. But now mm -hmm. this is what we were showing earlier, Sanal. LISC is nationwide. They have so many different branches that are constantly and products and programs, different products, different programs. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to move. All you have to do is go to LISC.org and see where they are. Connecticut, Detroit, oh, because she's in Memphis. These are in alphabetical order. Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Kalamazoo. Ooh, Memphis. Hey, hey, we got you go. covered, Sanal. Now, and it. Sanal is a money lady, too. She's always looking for opportunities. Her and her, her husband's a businessman. Ooh, business man. Yes, he's a businessman. So definitely check it out, Sanal. Uh, like I said, they offer different products and different services at different list chapters. So check out the one in Memphis to see what they have for the craft organization. Right. Now, we got to get back to this over giveaway because David Hunt said this is so rigged. They have extra for Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> now, Duval is like celebrating Indiana Backyard Gardener. Wally, I can't help how many people entered because he said, I only seen three players, like people's names rolling. Indiana Backyard Gardener has given us an answer, okay? Because Sanal is here. Sanal, the, the giveaway was, will... Rosalind, next, she likes fried okra, but next time she eats okra, is she gonna eat it raw? Is she gonna eat it stew? Or is she gonna eat it in gumbo? 
And Indiana Backyard Gardener has already answered. She said gumbo. Oh, okay. So, you, so if you already like gumbo, I'm sure you'll have a good time now. Here's the thing. The money man is here. I told you, when we talk about money, the money people show up. Engineering Cannabis says, first time catching a, a, a live show. Good show. Now, Engineering Cannabis is like one of those multimillionaires. Like, when he gets a job offer, because he's into tech. So the tech people, that's where the money's at, you know? He's one of those people uh, that's making the tech possible for people to do uh, building and the organization and all that stuff. Him and JBW are, are working in cahoots. So, oh, Miriam's back from her, uh, yeah. yeah, from her premiere. Miriam, I told you she's a money lady. She was talk always talking about grants on her channel as well. How to oh, get free really? grants, the grants are closing soon. Yes, and Milton the Businessman says, we'll definitely check out the Memphis office for craft organization and the rural office. Please See, they're do. already on the website. Yeah, please do. Now, Rawlinson, we're gonna ask you this one last question. Oh, oh. What right. fruits, vegetables, or whole grains have you eaten or do you plan to eat today? Because this helps us get into our plant-based treat segment, our final segment. So what fruits or vegetables have you eaten yeah. today? Oh, you can include whole grains too. I love this. I have not eaten any fruits or veggies um, today, but I will have a uh, salad, a spring mix salad with spinach and uh, red, green, and yellow uh, peppers. Nice. Oh, right. Okay, this is good stuff. So Gail, I mean, Gail at night, I'm sorry. Rosalind, Gail at night has been dropping all show long list. I appreciate it, I saw that. Yes, so all they have to do is head on over there. So let's say Wally in Florida. He is from Haiti, but he's in Florida. If we look through, we might see some of the cities in Florida, not just the state, because it looks like there are multiple locations in different states. Mm -hmm. So Phoenix, Puget Sound, Rhode Island, Rural List, um, San Antonio, San Diego, all of this good stuff. You all head on over there, click on that tab that says local offices, and you will find a city near you. You know, I didn't... I don't think I saw any Florida cities, did I? I don't know if you saw Miami. Oh, Jacksonville. No, Jackson, Jacksonville, yeah. JV. And where's Kalamazoo? That's Michigan. Okay, don't pay attention. That's Michigan. Mind. Yeah, yeah, because it does have the state there. All right. So, Jacksonville, uh, Wally, I'm not sure how close that is to you, but check on Jacksonville because they may have several, they may support surrounding counties as well. Washington, D.C. Wow. So, you know, there, there are quite a, di a lot of different locations there. The everyday life of an OCD is chick. Nikki is here. Nikki, you didn't miss anything but the money talks. All you have to do is head over to lisk.org. And that way, you know, you can find out if there's money available where you are. And Wally was asking about, he's like, his parents are from Haiti. He was born here. I know that, Wally. <laughs> mm -hmm. But Duval is in Jacksonville, so wonderful. Hey, Duval, there you go. Okay, and here, oh, Philippe, awesome. that's great. Right, you are Haitian, Wally, because your parents Haitian. But anyways, <laughs> we're gonna get over to the plant-based treats. So we're gonna put you back in the virtual green room, Ross, and if you can hang out there for a while. Once this broadcast is officially over, we'll talk to you a little bit further after the show is over. Okay. Awesome. Thank you all for having me. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you so much. And now it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Love Queen Marie. I can't even do it because Wally keep fighting, talking about sure you did. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I gotta say it. Oh yeah, Indiana Back Gardener. That's what you missed, Nikki. Indiana Backyard Gardener won the giveaway, which means our guest today is going to try okra the way Indiana Backyard Gardener suggested, which was in gumbo. Mm -hmm. So today's plant-based treat is inspired by a line that Philip Waldo said, Jr. said, with his character for in that movie Life. When Eddie Murphy, he and Eddie Murphy sat down to eat lunch. You know what? <laughs> Here's a plant-based treat, you all, getting you all to eat more fruits and vegetables every day at every single meal. Flour, yellow cornmeal, flax seeds for the eggs, almond milk for buttermilk, corn, and sugar. Buttermilk by simply pouring about a cup of milk. That's about eight or nine ounces. And I go ahead and squeeze some lemon juice into that. So now we are going to have buttermilk. You can see it's instantly curdling. A cup of the cornmeal. We will add a cup of flour. We have about a fourth cup of sugar. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. Use a teaspoon of baking soda. Use about a teaspoon 
of baking powder, heaping tablespoon of yogurt. This is going to make your cornbread nice and creamy. And I'm using a plant-based yogurt. We're just going to mix up the dry ingredients a little bit, how it's risen up, yep. And then go ahead and scoop that out. Next egg. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this in, maybe like two table, three tablespoonfuls. All right, so now let's pour in the milk. To just toss in a little bit of the frozen corn. Corn is rich in vitamin C, an antioxidant that wards off cancer and heart disease. It's a good source of the carotenoids good for your eyes and prevents the lens damage that leads to cataracts. So the last thing we're going to add is about a third cup of oil. You're all done. Pop it into a muffin pan or a loaf pan. Bake it at 375 degrees for about 12 minutes. All right, guys. So y'all know what Philip said in that movie. You're going to eat your cornbread. And look, you sound like Nikki. Nikki was in there. Um, oh, David Hunt. This has measurements today. What a treat. You know what? <laughs> Everyday life of an OCD is chick. Nikki's talking about, do kind of grains come with this cornbread? <laughs> Only if they come from your garden, Nikki, because your garden really produces some food. And uh, I'll be sneaking into your backyard when you sleep. Grocery shop. Speaking of grocery shopping, Brown Coat Blue says he's got some big okra he's going to pick off his plant in the next few days. You got to get them quick. I know they like the more you pick them, the more they grow. It's like the green beans. Once they start coming in, they really come in. Rambo knows something about that. He's uh, Jamaican as well. Jamaican manager of the Caribbean show without the name. Yes, yes, yes. We got all the Jamaicans, Caribbeans, Haitians, because David Hunt is Trinidadian. So Rambo is saying hello to everybody. And David Hunt talking about, yay, no okra in the plant-based treat today. We went in today, Wally. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Uh, don't laugh at David, Indiana Backyard Gardener. All you need to know is that we have some something wonderful planned for you the rest of the week. Oh, Lord. Wally said, David Hunt, that's true, but I need to see those ingredients on these products first. I'm not sure it's the real deal. <laughs> oh, and you know, Wally also realized that even though he's in Florida and Lisk does have a branch in Jacksonville, he did say there's nothing in there for him, for Lisk, where in his area, mm -hmm. but he'll, he'll be back to uh you know give that info to other people for awareness there so you thank go. you I, each one teach one so on your wealth talk productions you can hook some people up with some this information so definitely thank you for doing for pushing the word forward mm -hmm. you know we do have to say goodbye right now but not before we say to engineering cannabis that uh hey lucky marie is here too Corey. Lucky, lucky. look because i had to put up that make it invest money making investments that we use because mm -hmm. i started talking about the money people mm -hmm. uh look Gale at Night did drop the ground floor investment link. That's one that we use. It's not you investing into us, it's you investing $10 at a time and more. 10,000 if you're engineering cannabis of your own money. Oh, Lucky Marie, because she trades as well. Definitely, that's a great one to follow. Uh, check it out. So, engineering cannabis says, uh, wait, don't it? Yes, Nikki got the greens. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, look, you know it wouldn't be me if I didn't go with this. Go there with this. Engineer, engineer cannabis. Buy low, but sell high. <laughs> he said, love your show. Maybe one day I'll come in and talk about tech, AI, and healthcare, how it's all tied together. Look, you're the person for that conversation. I've been in quite a few conversations listening to you on Black Heights, advancing your career, talking about that on different platforms. Yes. So you look the at the platforms. I know, right? Look. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, Nikki says, Laquita, just be careful of those high wattage electrical wires I have hidden back there in my garden. You know how people be stealing. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Hey, okay, that just welcome messed to up a my... blind guy. His, his former life. wife. His <laughs> life. <laughs> his former wife. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyways, Corey, we got to get out of here because uh, Gail at night is chatting it up with, uh, well, excuse me, Queen Gail is chatting it up with Rambo. Everybody's having a good time, but y'all, we are over our one hour mark. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate you and look for tomorrow. We do have a special premiere in honor of one of our sponsors. sponsors. Yes, that is no longer with us. So we definitely want to tell you how you can get sponsors and we're going to use that sponsor as an example. So absolutely. Yep. So the life and legacy of David L. Brooks Sr. All right. So definitely, guys, we thank you for joining us on this episode of Blind Guy. His wife. Their life live. Oh, wait a minute. What about Friday? 
Oh, Friday. Take a recipe. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's our game show Friday. Game show Friday. I sneak into Nikki's backyard everyday life of an OCD trick on Thursday, and if I make it out on Friday, we'll have potato recipes. Got gotcha. you. Today we'll show you how you get French fried potatoes. <laughs> Everything will be fried. No. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Mary Marty Poe Juice says, oh, we love you. We love you as well, especially those money talks. All right, Corey, how do we say goodbye? Oh, and thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's my father, David L. Brooks. He says, so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mary Marty Poe Juice. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah, well, guys, we're going to say goodbye. No, before we go, you got to say Octus. That's oh. that's Nikki saying that. Oh, this, yeah, the, <laughs> every, the op this chick. <laughs> yeah, my job, my computer software has a screen reader software, and we use it as op this. That's what I call op this. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So with that being said, we are going to say. Goodbye. Yeah, how do we say goodbye? We are going to say goodbye the same way that Rosalind would say to somebody that they they came to her asking for a loan. They only been in business for two weeks. She would say. Deuces! <laughs> Deuces! Thank you all. <laughs> I, I ain't even in the show.